Okay, uh, I log in to uh, De La Salle's online learning site, and this might be what the page looks like. Uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to copy over a course, uh, either from a template or from a previously taught course from, um, I guess, a previous year, you'd say. So in the top left corner, I hit these three horizontal bars, and I want to go to the site home. So I select site home, and here we go. I actually already have editing turned on, but normally when you go to it, it would probably look like this. Editing is turned off. But if you're the administrator, you can edit these things. You'll have this option. Um, so as the overall administrator, I want to build a new course. And I've already called one test here. So I'm going to turn editing on here so I can go to test. Now, I can also add a new course. I could call it like data management number two, uh, test something else. I'm not going to do that because I don't want to clutter up the page with a whole bunch of new ones. But really, there's only two required a course name and a short name for the course. And that's it. You would hit save and return and you have it. So I've already done it. I have test here. So I'm going to go into this course here. So I go to test and it's got a whole bunch of blank things. Um, but if I go to the settings icon in the top right corner and I select it, I have the option to import a course. So when I select import, um, what it does is it references all of the other courses. Um, so here's the course. Uh, my short name for it is test. Uh, the course for its full name is test. Um, so I can import either challenge and change the template we made or this course was HSB was also taught um, in the summer. So if I want the most recent one, I would select it here and then hit continue. And when I do that, it gives me all the options, so I'm going to include absolutely everything. And this way, it's if there are any uh, changes made by the most recent teacher, uh, all those iterations are saved, so they don't have to go back to the template and change everything. Everything's the exact way they left it in the summer. So then I hit next. I've included everything. Uh, just a little bit more to that. You can get really specific within here. I'm going to leave absolutely everything um, on. We'll just scroll to the bottom here. Continue on with it. Those are all of the um, activities. These are all the announcements. There's quite a bit to this course already, and I'm going to perform the import. You'll see here, the course is starting to import. Uh, doesn't take too long. Import complete. I go to continue, and here it is. Here is um, the most recent iteration. So if your teacher had made changes from the template, all of those changes are included in this in the test course that we just did.